Hi guys, it's Music King and MK Leo, and we're going to talk about Link, which is from the Legend of Zelda series. No, uh, from the Legend of Link series. Which is from the Legend of Zelda series. So we're going to talk about uh, how. The Legend of Link series. The Legend of Link. Oh, you. We're gonna talk about the new moves he has. So one ma main move is the bomb he has, and there's a remote bomb now. You throw it, and then when you press down B, you can detonate it. No. I mean, you can detonate it when you when you're open so, and doesn't grab it. But like, if they if they have it in their hand, you can you can't do anything. You just need to wait until they throw it again. So you can use this for cool bomb techniques, like the like the bomb into nair. Oh, speaking of his nair, his nair is actually so safe. Like you can literally just nair and roll away before they can do anything or nair into dodge. It, it, it's actually like an amazing nair. Like better, probably better than all the other nairs in terms of frame advantage. But the main thing, the useful of these bombs besides neutral is you can use it to edge guard. So you can just throw it off and detonate it. Or if let's say a King K rule is recovering low and most tra characters can't challenge up B, you just throw it down and you can detonate it. And you can, uh, stop, Ugh. You can just throw the bomb and detonate it where uh, whenever, you, whenever you press down B again. It's a pretty quick detonation process. So the bomb is pretty much the main thing new, and if you just learn to master the bomb, you, that's and the, one and really good thing And really important thing about Link is that he doesn't have a tether grab anymore. Like, if he wants to grab you, he's just gonna grab you like this. No, like this. So that's a really a really good thing about this Link. Because like, he, do, he doesn't have like any f dead frames when he's trying to grab you, so like, since it's a faster game, I think it's actually better. Cause, like, he can just be playing neutral game and like grab you whenever he wants without getting in disadvantage. Did you know that Link grabs all males by the shirt and all women by the arm? Yeah, he's a really? good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy, didn't you know? <laughs> okay, we're gonna be talking about Link's combos. Jason can actually do it because he's the best Link in like the entire universe. So, Jason, can you just go ahead? Well, oh, can't even do that forward smash combo. All right, there, I tried. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't, I can't come before forward smash. Okay, so one of the best things, like Jason just said, is the zero percent project beam. Wow. Well, right. Okay, shut up. Oh. Okay, just let me show the combos. Like Jason already said that his nair is actually way better in this game. It's one of the safest move in the game. So you can just do like weak nair into his better grab, into down throw into up tilt. Like, don't forget it. If you do up tilt, it's like immediately after the down throw, it's not gonna work. So you need to turn around first, then do it. So it's gonna it's gonna be easier to get. Oh, you can also nair grab before you can grab. Yeah. You can actually you can actually raw grab after a delayed nair before they can show grab you. Yeah, like which you is literally actually can't pretty crazy. Do, you literally can't do anything with the nair. Like if you want to be in like this in the advantage, broken. Just, this move just is just nair. Broken. If you just want to get win. a good combo, you just nair. If you want to get out of the disadvantage, you just nair. If you want to do if something, if you want world peace, you just nair. nair. I mean, if you start spamming like nair, it's just gonna be bad. It's not like Ike or Paladina, so I'm just gonna more. I'm gonna go in more detail. On shield, it is. I mean, it is. It's God on shield. What if you have a good uh, obby out of shield? You just die. <gasps> nope, it's God. Also a good combo that I've seen Salem and Javi doing is like upper into, I mean backer. Double backer. Double backer, up B in the like off stage actually kills you like super early. Cause Link's up B is like, like really strong. You can also, you can also charge uh, up B in the ground. Like a four smash or something like that. It's gonna be way, way like, way stronger. Also a very good combo. One thing about links that you can just do down throw instead of doing for up tilt that high percent, you can just go into into open. Like even if you either like try to do something, the move just stays there, so you can literally just wait in the air and like still get the hit, and it's still gonna do like 10 damage or something. It's like really good. And like even if you don't get it, you can just jump into into fair that it's actually two hits. So even if you miss one, you're still gonna get the second one. It's actually the strong the strongest move. So it's just gonna kill you. <laughs> like you're, gonna, you're just gonna kill you at like 80. If if in case you get that fairy <laughs> of of stage, you just you stay stuck. Same as force, a uh, force smash, force smash like super strong. Same as as fair, and like downer. I don't like his downer personally. It's like his downer is like a spike downer. I would prefer to be like in brawl or like melee that he just 
he he just does down into like dead at like 80%. I mean, you can just kill someone like super early percent off stage, but like if you miss the downer, you're just gonna die because he has so much so much lag in case you're online in the platform. The forest man is also super strong. You can kill really really early around the edge or just anywhere. It sends yeah. really far even at zero percent. Like they, the forward the forward smash has two hits. The first hit is like, a, it has a taper hitbox and a normal hitbox. Then the taper hitbox is just gonna hit you, like if it was morphed, and it's just gonna send you like super far. It's actually not that strong, so every time a link gets that, it's, lo it's like not intentional actually. Because like they always want to look for like the, the weak first hit into the, into the second hit. Cause, like that's actually a strong part. So in case you want to get the, the, the first smash combo, you just need to hit the first hit. With the weak part, then the second part is just gonna hit you like something like 60, 70, 80 at the ledge. So uh, it's really good like when you're chasing landings. Okay, stay in the ledge. No, like stay in the ledge. Like, uh, on stage? Yeah, like right here. Like yeah, sometimes when you're recovering, you can just go to the ledge immediately. But like if you want to do something else, you can, you can just hold down. Yeah, and you're and you just can gonna get me. the obby. And you can just send it off stage and you start getting the edge card. But like in case they are high percent, you start gonna die at like 120 or something. It's actually a really good move. There's actually a case when you can just cancel this, the obby into something really strong. It sends you like super far, no matter what percent you are. But like it's like actually really hard to get. I try it. See something like that. And like you can just if if you're unexpected, you're just gonna die. His neutral game is basically based on his items. Like Jason told us already, her, his bomb is like super strong, super good for like edge guard and like, like the bomb is not gonna explode until like if you don't want it to explode. So you can literally just put it in front of you and like play with that. But like if you start like throwing the boomerang and arrow, you like they can't do anything. Cause like they know the jump is, the bomb is gonna be there. So if they want to do something, they either has to like run into you, grab the bomb before they can hit you or like jump over you and then hit you. It's actually really hard because like you just you can just react with a boomerang and boomerang gives you a, a like a free combo. And if they try to to like uh, land in you, you can just react with a out of shield obby. Yeah, obby is pretty fast. Out of his shield. neutral game is like basically that you just need to wait with the item in front of you and like in case you want to be like aggressive, you can just approach with nair and like get everything out of it. You can also do like dash grab. It's actually not that dangerous in this game. Like he doesn't grab the tether, so he's just like, okay, I'm just gonna run at you and grab you. And he has a frame six shield grab, which is tied for the fastest. So he has a he has a good out of shield now, which is opposite of what you used to in previous games. When most people think of Link, they think, oh, he has bad out of shield. But this Link, he could like jump zero to shield and then do like nares and then catch the bomb, which is good for shield pressure. The best way to beat deal with that is either parry yeah, or roll away. And uh, having a fast shield grab is really useful, especially because yeah, his down throw is pretty good. He has like, a lot of options out of shield. Like he can, if you're landing over it, you can just do obby out of shield. You can just jump near, jump C drop with the bomb, or like just jump down. It's, it's actually really good. But, like the grab out of shield, and you don't get damage because like it's just only a grab. If you miss, you just keep shielding. It's not like Smash Four. It used to be in a Smash Four. And like for backer, it's, it's still really strong because like backer is like really good. If he hits you, it's still it's like. Gonna extend the combo a lot more. At low percent, so at low percent, yeah. You just want you can a do like, you can do this combo. Yeah, a high percent is just gonna hit you like super hard, but you're just never gonna die like until like 200. The strange like weaknesses. I think Link's strange actually that I think one strange right now is that no one knows how like Link is playing when he's optimized, so they don't know everything about the bombs. The bombs are like actually a secret that Salem doesn't want to tell us like. He wants to take advantage of it, so they he just the link just wanted to beat us with the bomb tricks. But like I play link myself, so I know like a little bit about those tricks. The bomb is actually really good, so people just don't know how to like play versus a link that uses the bomb correctly. He's like super strong. He has good ledge traps, frame traps, because like the bomb and items are like super good. He's yeah, also guard, he's also really strong. The edge guard is like amazing. Cause, like you can just throw the bomb and like explode it whenever you want. And if you're wrong, it doesn't matter. You don't lose Grab into combo is really good. Down tilt into anything. He's actually really strong. Four tilt is gonna kill you. Like every single move he has is just gonna heal you at some percent. He's just one of the strongest characters in the game. Weaknesses, obviously, since he doesn't have the tether grab anymore, he doesn't have like a super long range recovery. So he always needs to recover like from low to high. So that's actually a really bad thing. Like 
since he got a like multi hit recovery, you can just counter it like super easy. Yeah, but if you don't have a counter, it's a little harder. If you don't have a, if counter, you have a counter, it's, like, it's harder, but like you can still go like off stage and try to win. For yeah. example, Balotina you can just jump out of near. Yeah, Link's gonna die. That's definitely his biggest weakness. His yep. recovery. That's... If he didn't have that, he'd be like. Also, he's super like kind of slow. I see him like Ike. He's like super fast while he's like master, but like he is still really slow. Like he's a heavy character. So you just need to make sure you like every time you lose stage control, you just get it back like the fast like as soon as possible. Okay, so in case you don't have a jump, you, you just need to see drop a bomb and you just explode it right next to you and it's gonna get you back to the stage. So it's, actually, it's actually a really good thing. If you do a like super high percent, you're obviously gonna die like the snake C4 thing. And like if you're not expecting to like take in the platform, you're just gonna get stage spike by yourself. But like it's actually a really good thing. You just need to like spam it. Like you also get damage, like 10 damage, and like it's not like super safe. Because like if they are just waiting for you in the platform, they are just gonna hit you when you get back to the platform. So it's just like situational. It's just like an emergency. If you don't have a jump, if you don't know how to what to do to recover, and like you're super far away from the platform, that's the time you need to do. It's actually not that hard. You literally just need to be here, throw the bomb, and like explode it right after. Make sure you move to the to the side that you want to be, like launch. And like that's pretty much everything. Another trick with the bomb is like, when you when they are like trying to to get back to the stage, like when they are in the ledge, they need to shoot like a like an ocean, right? So you can just throw the bomb here, and like if they choose like the normal get out, they are gonna get hit by the bomb, and you can just do four smash or like four kill. Like it's just gonna hit you because like the bomb doesn't have any knockbacks. So they are just gonna be staying there, like. Yeah, I think the like, link will get better not. because I think as bomb tech evolves, I think he'll get better and better. Like, he's a character has potential to keep getting higher with, if you master those advanced bomb tricks, in my opinion. Unlike most moves, like oh, normally if you shield an air, it's an RPS which favors the person shielding. But with Link, it's the opposite. Link has a huge, huge advantage on delayed strong air on shield, so much that like he can actually grab before you can grab. So the best thing to do is either parry it or try to roll away, because otherwise he's just gonna keep pressuring you. Shield grab doesn't actually work. If you have a super fast up, you have a shield, yeah, that can work. But uh, even then, even he can just nair shield if he reads that. So uh, he has a lot of, the, the nair itself, the nair and bombs is I think two of the key moves that are super, super good, which is gonna be really important to his meta. So Link's combos is heavily based around the bombs. At low percent, you can do like down throw up tilts, of course, like zero to 20-ish. And then there's still frame traps you can do after that. But a lot of his game comes from the specific combos. I don't think his combos are like too complex. Yeah, they're not, he's not really a combo based character. He's more like a, I hit you, now I have the advantage and I can keep pushing my advantage. He has things like back air to back air to up B, which can be useful, especially if you want to trade the stocks. But I don't think he's too heavy based on like very long combos. I don't think that's his main play style. So I'd probably give it like a B. Yeah, same as me. Like Link doesn't have like any like amazing combos. He can like, every time he does something to you, to you he can just do like follow ups. And that's pretty much everything. But like, that's not, a, that's literally not a combo. Like, he just need to like react to the option you're, you're like choosing and like do something in base of that. So I will give him an, an B as well. Edge guarding, I'm actually gonna go out on a limb and say I think it's S, and I think when you master bomb edge guarding, I think that's the sole reason. There's a lot of characters who you can't edge guard. Uh, King K. Wolf is an example, even before the patch when his up B had a bigger hitbox. Um, a lot of characters either couldn't challenge it or it's very difficult to challenge it. Like even if Lucina counters the King K. Roll up B, for example, it would just go through and King K. Roll to recover. You can still spike if Lucina's down there, for example, but yeah, as I was saying, the bomb's a really, really easy way to edge guard a lot of characters who you can't easily challenge if, with your normal attribute. Yeah. And in theory, you should be able to, as you get better at the game, different bomb timings, you should be able to edge guard a lot of different types of characters. And the, and the great part is that it's a no risk to yourself because you still control center stage as you're throwing them. So that's why I give it an S. Same thing as Jason, you can literally edge guard every character you want with the bomb. And like, even if you miss the bomb, you can just pull out another bomb and like throw again. <laughs> or like just go off an air. Like, just go off and like try to trade with the downer. When you get someone, like, when they don't have a jump, they need, they are forced to air dodge. So you just need to plow the bomb, throw it to them, and like, they can't air dodge. So you just explode it and take that. So it's definitely an S. Neutral, I would say Link's probably an A. I, I don't give him S because he's, he's not the 
super great up close. He's just he's like average up close, but he has a lot of projectiles to make it so you always have to approach him, which is really good. And it's better than most characters have, and that's why I think his neutral would be an A. Uh, kill power, I'd give it an A. You can kill really, really early with the forward smash, and you can also kill very early with the forward air. But if you don't land those moves, then you're usually not killing until a higher percentage. So it can, as there's some variance, so I'd average it out with A. I think it's an A, because mainly because I just think there are only few cards that I have like S kill power. So I'm giving an A. I think every every move is a kill move like already. So like, Obdu is gonna kill you at 140, 40 at like 80. Same as Force Smash, for Fair, Upper, even the Bomb. <laughs> you can also combo like Boomerang to Fair and, or like Boomerang to Obby and he's just gonna die super early. So I will give him an, an A. He can just heal you with whatever, but like super hard. So for movement, I'd either give it a B or A because I think he has a good dash and I think having a good dash is really useful. Outside of that, his, his movement's really like nothing crazy or special. Same thing, he's just like, he just has a good movement because like, his projectiles are like really good to like put pressure on the opponent. And overall, I'd say Link's is probably like the top of high tier maybe, but if you are really good at him, then he could probably be top tier like in the future. I personally think Link's top five, but actually just based on like, I play my cousin Javi, he plays Link, and I play Salem, so I'm just gonna be like, like okay, I'm not gonna be, <laughs> I'm not gonna be basing on my, like my result versus Link, so I'm just gonna say like, he's like top 10 for sure, the one of top tier. So yeah, those are my talks about links. Those are Jason talks about links. So you're just gonna, I already told you to not forget to subscribe like in the middle of the videos, but like a friendly reminder, you don't need to subscribe it's for free. And hit the bell so you get the notifications. Yeah, as well. let us know what you think about links, bomb recovery and like everything. What do you think is gonna be link placement in the tier list? Like, I don't know, in like a year or two years. Incredible!